Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to remove .aspx extension from URLs using URL rewrite in IS8. This video tutorial is presented by Sajin Sami. Now without wasting any more time let us log on to our Windows Server 2012 machine using administrative rights. Let me type down my very secret password. Hit enter. As usual server manager opens automatically. Before we start, let us see what we are going to do in this tutorial. Let us open Internet Explorer. Here I am going to open the website on which we are going to configure the URL rewrite rule. So this is the website that is testing.itzoz.com. This is basically a default page of the website. When I click on fun, this takes me to fun.aspx page as you can see over here. Let's go back to the home page. This takes me to default.aspx and when I click on games this takes me to games.aspx. Let's go back to the home page and now click on fun. So let us see what happens when somebody types fun and then hit enter. As usual he is going to get an error. Now without wasting any more time let us configure URL rewrite so that if the user types fun it will automatically opens the fun page without giving an error. Minimize the Internet Explorer. Go to Tools from the Server Manager. Click on Internet Information Service Manager. From the IS Manager, expand the server node. Expand the Sites folder. Here is our website. Let's click on it. That is testing.itzoz.com. From the IS section, click on URL Rewrite Module which will be somewhere over here. If you don't find URL rewrite module in IS, you can download and install it from the given link in the description of this video. So now we are on URL rewrite section. From the action pane window, click on add rule. From the add rule window, click on blank rule and then click on OK. This opens up the edit inbound rule blank template. In the name dialog box, we are going to give a name to this rule that is hide.aspx extension. It will look like this. Next option is match URL. So we are going to go with the default option that is in requested URL matches the pattern and using regular expressions. Next is pattern. In the pattern dialog box, type caret left bracket dot star close bracket dollar. It will look like this. After this, uncheck and recheck the ignore case checkbox. Now let us move to the next option that is conditions. Click on the pull down arrow. Here we are going to go with the default option which is match all. Now let us click on add. This brings up the add condition window. In the condition input box, Let's remove this condition and we are going to type left curly bracket R. The drop down menu will automatically open. We are going to select request underscore file name. After this let's go to click if the input string. Click on the drop down arrow and then select is not a file. After that click OK. Once again let us click on add. In the condition input box type left curly bracket R and select request underscore file name. From the drop down select is not a directory. Now click on OK. From the logical grouping drop down select match any. Then click on add. In the condition input section we are going to type left curly bracket R and then from the drop down select request underscore file name. After the request underscore file name, close curly bracket, type dot aspx. It will look like this. After this, from the drop down select is a file. Then click OK. Now let's move little bit down. We are on action. From the action properties, in the URL rewrite box, type open curly bracket r colon zero close curly bracket dot aspx. 
which will look like this. Check the append query string checkbox. After that, from the action pane window, click on apply. Here it says the changes have been successfully saved. Now click on back to the rules. So this is the rule which we have just now created. We need to create one more rule so that it will work properly. But before that, let's open Internet Explorer and see what happens when we browse the website. Ok, so on the Internet Explorer, this is the page which we have opened earlier. Before it was giving us an error. Now let's hit enter to reload this page. This time if you see, it is working without the ASPX extension. Now let's click back. And if I click on the games link, if you see on the address bar, it is showing games.aspx. Let us see what happens if I remove ASPX from the games page. Ok, let me type games and remove the ASPX. Hit enter. Let me refresh it. As you can see, our URL rewrite rule is working but it is not removing .aspx from the page name automatically. As you can see over here. And here. And here. This is showing games.aspx. So, we have to create one more rule which will remove the ASPX from the page name. So let's do that. Let's minimize the Internet Explorer. So now we are back on the IS Manager. From the URL rewrite module, let us click on Add Rule. From the Add Rule window, select the blank rule and then click on OK. This opens up the new blank rule window. In the name dialog box type redirecting.aspx extension. It will look like this. Next is match URL. We are going to go with the default option which is matches the pattern and using regular expressions. So in the pattern dialog box we are going to type caret open bracket dot star close bracket dot aspx dollar which will look like this. Now let us go to conditions. Click on the pull down arrow. From the logical grouping drop down select match any. After this click on add. In the add condition input box type open curly bracket then type u and from the drop down select URL close curly bracket. Now on the pattern dialog box type open bracket dot star close bracket dot aspx dollar which will look like this. Uncheck and recheck the checkbox where it says ignore case. Then click OK. Now let us move to the next option. which is action. From the action type drop down select redirect. On the action properties redirect URL box type open curly bracket r colon 1 close curly bracket which will look like this. Uncheck and recheck the checkbox where it says append query string. In the redirect type, we will go with the default option permanent redirect. Now click on apply. The changes have been successfully saved. Now let us go back to the browser and see what happens when we open .aspx pages. Ok, so this is the browser. Now let us refresh this page. As you can see, on the games page, the ASPX extension has been removed. If I go to the home page, there is also the default.aspx has been removed. On the fun page also, the ASPX has been removed. So, now we have successfully configured the rule to remove the ASPX extension from the pages. Let's see this one more time. I have added the ASPX extension. Now when I click enter, the ASPX has been removed from the page. You can also copy this rule from the given link in the description of this video. Once you have copied this rule, you have to paste the rule in the web.config of your website.
let us go back to the IS once again click on back to rules so these are the two rules which we have created let me also show you the web.config of this website in which the URL rewrite rule has been added right click on the website and click on explore double click and open the web.config file ok and this is the rule which we have configured so it completes our this video tutorial let's close this close this hello friends thank you for watching our this video tutorial if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video share it with your technical IT friends if you are having any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus Twitter Facebook and Skype this video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami and powered by itzoz.com. And you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Kreis.